Welcome to Chuck Builds. I've made one video recently about Zigbee to MQTT and their breaking change with the adapter that ZStack is no longer the default adapter and you need to go change that by manually adding your adapter. Um, a second breaking change that I glanced right over at first and was trying to troubleshoot and I just think I figured it out is that they had a breaking change to remove all click sensors and I use these Zigbee Acara buttons around my house for quick actions and automations that when I click this button something happens but uh, the node red flow that I was using was listening for that click entity that Zigbee to MQTT exposes. So I think I just figured out how to do this again now that that sensor click is gone and it's using the MQTT device trigger and the device trigger is really two ways to do it. Um, there's one that's listening for the thread from MQTT and then there's one that's through Home Assistant uh, using like an automation. I don't really want to use either of these just because it's not what I currently have been using. There is an alternative that I'll cover at the end, but it'll be depreciated soon. So I'm saving that as your last bailout. But what we will end up doing is adding our MQTT topic to Node Red. Um, to quickly review what this is going to look like, if you go to your MQTT integration and find the button that you're trying to use, you'll notice that the click is gone, that you just have battery, temperature, and power outage count. There's no longer the uh, action entity here. And we can see it again in Zigbee to MQTT. Uh, when we go to the exposes tab, the action is still here, but it's an empty string. And when you click the button, it kind of just spazzes for a split second as that message comes through, but it doesn't really know what to do with it. So to facilitate this on how you can do this yourself, we're going to go back to this MQTT integration for our uh, button. Go to MQTT info, and then we're looking for subscribe topics right here. And we're going to see Zigbee to MQTT, and then Zigbee to MQTT office button. That's the name of the button that I'm using. I'm going to scroll down, and I don't think it's here, but we want to see if there's one for the... Uh, actual click we've got one here where you can see the action of single is reported in the thread but it's not actually given its own topic uh, so we're just going to grab this and it might be different depending on your setup and your integration using zigbee to mqtt mqtt and home assistant you might not exactly have zigbee to mqtt but that's how mine is set up if you're not sure just come click this debug info and you can grab this and we'll take that to node red. And I have one here that I was just using to debug, but we can come down to our nodes and scroll down till we find MQTTN. We're gonna open it, and then we're gonna give it a topic to subscribe to, which is that button. And then uh, we're gonna be looking at action is specifically what it's gonna report. And the server is our MQTT connection that should already be populated. You might need to add it. When you click done, you'll get this node and we can just hook it up to the debug node. I'll disconnect the old one and click deploy. And over here on the right side, we can see the debug when I was messing with this. Um, now, when I press the button, we get a single payload popping up. I'm not exactly sure why it's popping up three times, but it is, <laughs> of course. Just when I think I have it figured out. Um, but that's what I'll be using instead of my previously state change node. I used to say if the entity was the office button and then it would be action and if it was equal to click, but that's not there anymore. We only have battery, outage, and temperature. We don't have that action there. And so I can't say is click or uh, is single clicked on that one. Um, so that's what's going to change. I'm going to hook this up to my flow, replacing the previous state change node, and it should work right away. If you really don't want to do this, and for some reason you're not using Node Red, and you don't want to do it how they're recommending with the device trigger or the Home Assistant event entity, there is a last resort. If you come to Zigbee to MQTT, and then Settings, and then Home Assistant Integration, you can enable the legacy action sensor right here. Um, 
I'm not doing that because it's going to go away. It's depreciated. They're going to remove this at some update in the future. It's messing me up now. I'm going to fix it now and I don't have to worry about it again. If for some reason you just need it to work right now, you don't have time to edit your flows and your automations, just come click this button and click submit and it should come back. Um, again, not really a super expert on this, just something I'm stumbling with and I was Googling around and I can find lots of people on the Home Assistant forums talking about it, um, but people are asking like, how do I do this correctly? If, if I'm not supposed to click this checkbox for enabling the legacy action sensors, how will I actually do this to support me in the future? Um, my solution for now is gonna be this MQTTN inside of Node Red using this node. I don't really know why they did it this way. It is what it is, and this is how I'm continuing forward. Hopefully this is helpful. If you're in this situation or if you can't get it to work, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.